guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anati. So in today's video, we are going to start a new subject that is SST. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in SST, today we are going to study a chapter that is inside our earth. So let's get started. So today we are going to study about crust, what is inside our earth, what are rocks, and what is rock cycle. So can you tell me where do you live in our, your earth? You will see we live in earth only and we live in a country or city. But can you tell me where you live in the earth? Yeah, let me tell you. We live in the crust of the earth. Crust. Crust is the uppermost layer over the earth's surface is called the crust. It is the thinnest of all the layers. It is about 35 km on the continental masses and only 5 km on the oceanic floors. Crust is of two types, continental crust and oceanic crust. Continental crust consists of the land in where we live and oceanic crust consists of water. The main mineral constituencies of the continental mass are silica and alumina. It is thus called CR. The oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium. So therefore it is called SIMA. Now you know that where do you live in your earth? You live in crust. But can you tell me that what are these remaining parts are? What is inside your earth? Let me tell you. There is mental and core inside our earth. Mental. Just beneath the crust, it is mental which extends up to the depth of 2900 km. Core. The core is the innermost layer is the core which has a radius of about 3500 km. It is mainly made up of nickel and iron and it is called knife. Ni for nickel and Fe for ferrous or iron. Now let me ask you a question. Can you tell me what is this? Yeah, you will say that it is a rock. I know that it is a rock. Can you tell me which type of rock this is? You will say, our rocks also have types? Yes, rocks also have three types. Rocks have three types. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks. When the molten magma cools down, it becomes solid. Rocks thus formed are called the igneous rocks. They are also called primary rocks. Igneous is a is made from the Latin word called ignis, meaning fire. There are two types of igneous rocks, instructive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks. Extrusive igneous rocks. When the molten magma comes on the earth's surface, it's rapidly cooled down and becomes solid. Rocks formed in such a way on the crust are called the extrusive igneous rocks. For example, basalt rocks. Intrusive igneous rocks. Sometimes the motion magma cools down deep inside the earth's crust. Solid rocks so formed are called the intrusive igneous rocks. For example, granite. Sedimentary rocks. Rocks roll down, crack and hit each other and they are broken down into small fragments. These smaller particles are called sediments. These sediments are transported and deposited by wind, water etc. These loose sediments are compressed and hardened to form the layers of rocks. These types of rocks are called sedimentary rocks. For example, sandstone is made of grains of solids. Sedimentary rocks also consist fossils of plants, animals and other microorganisms. Metamorphic rocks When igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks, when 
metamorphic rocks or igneous rocks have a great pressure so it goes in the earth and the metamorphic rocks formed for example limestone into marble now you understood that what are the different types of rocks and how they are formed but let me tell you that the rocks can change directly as a well. rock cycle the process of transformation of the rock from the another rock is known as the rock cycle you know that the igneous rocks are formed by the magma and then it changes into sediments but igneous rocks can also change into metamorphic rocks directly as well if the igneous rocks have have a great pressure so they can form metamorphic rocks directly all as well sedimentary rocks can form magma as well if if the sedimentary rocks have a great pressure and they go deep inside the earth and if they touches the mantle or the core of the earth so it can change into magma metamorphic rocks can also change in sediments by the pressure it can also broken down into different sediments now you understood that what is rock cycle rocks and what is inside the earth now let me ask you some questions so questions of today are that can you tell me which by which rock redford and taj mahal is made of and give me three examples of indigenous igneous rocks so i hope you have liked this video and you get a great knowledge by this video so thank you for watching my video bye bye